This is Jared Horak for todaysracingdigest.com and in, in this Today's Racing Digest video we're going to look at the 2018 Breeders' Cup. Breeders' Cup Friday to be exact. We're going to look at the five races and we're going to give out one horse in each race uh, that we think uh, that, that could be live in each of those Breeders' Cup Friday races. And Breeders' Cup Friday will be Friday, November 2nd, 2018 this year. Now, the first Breeders' Cup race we're going to look at will be Churchill Downs Race 5. It's going to be the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Turf Sprint. And they're going to be traveling five and a half furlongs on the turf course. Now, all five of the Breeders' Cup races on Friday are going to be for juveniles. Now, in this uh, juvenile turf sprint, uh, I think that Stillwater Cove is one that looks interesting for trainer Wesley Ward. Now, in her debut, she showed sharp speed. That was in a four and a half furlong maiden race at Keeneland. She was the heavy favorite in that main track race. She shot out to the front and she just held on to win. That was back on April 8th. After that, they shipped her to Ascot in Great Britain uh, to run in the stakes race there on the turf in a turf sprint. And she showed fast uh, early fractions again. She showed good early speed. And then she faded to finish 13th of 18 in that race. Brought her back to the U.S. And she's been a different horse since they brought her back. She's, she's been much more relaxed. So it's a good sign that, that she's improving uh, and she's becoming more mature. Now, in her first start back, uh, she ran in the Bolton Landing Stakes at Saratoga at five and a half furlongs on turf. She stalked the pace. She pounced. She pulled away to win nicely that day. And then last time out, uh, they, they ended up stretching her out to one mile in the grade one Natalma at Woodbine. And in that race, again, she stalked the pace. Uh, she took the lead in the stretch and then she weakened late. Uh, she just couldn't quite get that one mile distance. Now she's cutting back to five and a half furlongs. That's her winning distance on turf. And I think that she can set a good stalking trip. And if she can do that, I think she's got a big shot in, in that uh, juvenile turf sprint uh, against the boys. Uh, in the sixth race at Churchill Downs on Friday, uh, November 2nd, we have the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Phillies Turf. Uh, in this race, a newspaper of record is the one that everyone's going to have their eye on. She's the favorite in this race, and she's certainly the one to beat for trainer Chad Brown. In her career debut, the word was out, definitely. She was the favorite in that Saratoga turf route, and she ended up tracking the pace, winning easily that day, and then she came back as the even money favorite in the grade two Miss Grillo stakes, and in that race, they didn't fool around. She went right to the front. She toyed with her rivals. She won big again. She looks like she has a lot of talent. And she, but she did win on yielding turf in her first two. We'll have to see what the turf condition is going to be. But she has a lot of talent. And trainer Chad Brown has had a lot of success, a lot of success in the Breeders' Cup of running his uh, juvenile Phillies turf runners uh, in, after they ran well in the Miss Grillo stakes. Uh, so this is one that fits that pattern, Miss Grillo to the Breeders' Cup uh, juvenile uh, Phillies turf. And she looks like a, a strong favorite in that race. Well, let's go to the seventh race at Churchill Downs on November 2nd, the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Phillies. And they're going to be traveling a mile and a 16th on the main track. And you're going to have horses like Bella Fina is going to take a lot of money coming in from the West Coast, uh, looking good in her last few wins. Uh, but uh, she's a speed horse and there are other horses with speed. And I think one that could sit a good trip in the Juvenile Phillies is Restless Rider for trainer Ken McPeak. Now she's two for two at Churchill Downs. She won her first two career races at Churchill and then after those two wins, Ken McPeak thought he might have had a juvenile Phillies uh, runner on his hands. He laid her off, brought her back in a seven furlong uh, uh, race at, uh, stakes race at, at Saratoga, and she finished second. And then he stretched her out. He was pointing to the Alcibiades, and she looked good, stretching out to the mile and a 16th distance in the grade one Alcibiades at Keeneland on October 5th. She stalked the pace. She pulled away nicely. Uh, her, she's not as fast as some of the, con the top contenders, uh, but her numbers are improving. She owns running style versatility, and we know she likes Churchill Downs, and she's been pointing to this race for some time, and she's pretty fresh. Now let's go to the eighth race, the Breeders' Cup uh, Juvenile Turf. Uh, this is Churchill Race 8 on November 2nd. One mile on the turf course, and a horse that I think looks pretty good in here is going to be shipping from overseas, Anthony Van Dyke for trainer Aiden O'Brien. Aiden O'Brien has shipped horses in uh, to win this juvenile turf four times, including Mendelssohn last year. Now, Anthony Van Dyke has raced six times so far, three wins, a second and a third, and, and last time in Great Britain, the other races in Ireland. Uh, now, this horse certainly has some talent. He's won two group races over there, and he's run one time at the one-mile distance, and he won by eight lengths, so we know he can handle the distance. He, he's a classy horse, won a few stakes races. O'Brien's had success in this race, so watch out for Anthony Van Dyke in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Turf Finally, Churchill Race 9 is going to be the Breeders' Cup Juvenile, a mile and a sixteenth on the main track. 
and you're going to have complexity for trainer Chad Brown. It's going to take a lot of money. A game winner for trainer Bob Baffert looks good coming in from the West Coast. Uh, but Code of Honor, a horse that finished second behind complexity in the, in the grade one champagne last time, is the one that I think is interesting in here. Uh, he's one that's on my Kentucky Derby blog list, and you can read that at todaysracingdigest.com. I started that blog in September. have updated it a few times, and Code of Honor's always been on the list. He's highly regarded. Uh, for trainer Shug McGahee, he went all the way in his Saratoga de debut, went right out to the front, and you don't see Shug McGahee horses uh, usually fire first time out and then show that kind of speed, but this one showed a lot of speed and talent in that debut. And then in, in the Champagne, figured he was going to be up on the pace, but that wasn't the case. Stumbled badly at the start. He was well behind. Uh, he ended up making a wide rally, a nice sustained run to finish a clear second. That was an excellent effort for such a lightly raced horse. He has a lot of talent. But he's got a decent pedigree as well. Should be able to get this mile in a 16th distance. If he breaks cleanly, he'll probably be stalking the pace in the juvenile. And he's one to keep an eye on. Now, if you're if you're interested in my full card analysis for the Breeders' Cup, Breeders' Cup Friday and Saturday, my annual full card can be found at todaysracingdigest.com. And you're going to want to get the complete digest for Breeders' Cup Friday and Saturday. You're going to have a ton of information in that complete digest all the Today's Racing Digest speed figures analysis, workout analysis, and much, much more. And you'll find those products at todaysracingdigest.com. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and make some comments. Who do you like for the Breeders' Cup Friday races? And that will wrap up this video. We'll be back next week with more Breeders' Cup videos.